through here as well. Voxel, I love you. One. I love you so much. I love that song. Oh my god, I love that song. <laughs> That's a Simpsons reference. <laughs> that is a Simpsons reference. I hate every ape from chimpanzee A to chimpanzee. Oh, I'm sorry. I love that. I love that episode of The Simpsons. I'm sorry. I, I have, I have to fanboy about it. Thank you, Locksoft. You've made my night. And we'll see if uh, who's gonna make our night here. Is it gonna be John Y or Pink Shirt Guy making the night for sure? Yeah. Well, Johnny. Um... Going DK. I'm actually surprised Pink Shirt Guy left PS2 open. Typically, I think pretty much everybody will tell you about the DK matchup. Don't let DK go to PS2 because they practice Steam Dawn on every character in the game on that stage. Right, right, right. Back there, there. Right now, Pink Shirt Guy is driving the action. But again, this is going to be very much a matchup of Johnny desperately trying to get in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, and trying to do that. Big Monkey Fist take the first stock off Pink Shirt Guy. And, and it's, it's firing such a, right back. It's such a call out because at that situation, right? Like you get the armor from going for the punch, but also like you know what Mimic could be going from from the ledge, trying to get that distance between you and her for center stage. So that's just a really good call coming out from John Y. You also see uh, Johnny is being very cautious not to overextend even in certain advantage situations. See, after each up tilt, not going for an immediate follow up, but instead just trying to position himself for a better punish, like that big ding dong. Again, this yeah. is why you don't take PK to PS2. This is like, yeah, I've been preaching that for years, bro. Oh my god, I've been oh, preaching no. it for years. You, you oh, don't god. like, it, like everybody, gentlemen, starts PS2, but I'm like against DK. You actually want that counter pick matchup because oh, you want to not go to PS2. And that was Johnny being punished for having big old eyes, bigger than his dinner plate, trying to set up that up smash. And Pink Shirt Guy was like, oh, no, we're not doing that. Instead, we're doing this. And just push him completely off stage there. Oh, oh, that clanked with the uppy? That was wild. Oh, that's going to do it. You deserve that Again? punish. I, I, like, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I hate DK. I'm rooting for Pink Shirt Guy, by the way, unranked in South in Dakota's. One of the Dakotas, I can't remember. Um, South Dakota. South Dakota, thank you, before I start saying Rima. West Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> West well, like, Virginia. <laughs> before I start saying, like, West Dakota or something. Listen, listen, Gantz, I'm pretty sure you don't have to worry about um, trying to figure out how the Fresh Prince from South Dakota this time around. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, a real talk. Like I, I, I love Pink Shirt Guy for for meaning him and, and him as a player. But like, you deserve this loss if you're going to PS2, bro. Like you said it yourself. You don't. It doesn't matter if you have a winning matchup. You don't want to give your opponent that extra percentage of a chance to win. And I think there was a really good quote from uh, from Capcom. After after the, the matchup is evaluated, it all comes down to the player. It could be a losing matchup, but it all depends on how that player plays the losing matchup. That's where it counts the most. And not for not, again, that was a matchup that really boiled down to... JMX is right. JMX has done things to me with his DK that I forever hate this character in his entire existence. And as it should be, we're seeing a stage change. Thank God Pink Shirt Guy recognized that Loom PS2 open was not the play. And right now, just keeping Johnny at, at bay. His giant arms. Big use of the Ram Ram here, which is the fastest arm frame-wise in the field. Right. And Johnny finally starting to get something started here. Nice air dodge, but isn't able to cleave Pink Shirt Guy with back air. Ooh, he misses the dash attack as well. Uh oh, this might be. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. That's. Oh no, that oh, was, that was good. Yeah, that was good. That was good that Johnny went high just to avoid that all from happening. Oh no, you went too close. Back hit. Gotta remember the DK's uh, giant spin up beat hits behind in in front of him. This is bad for Johnny, but he's able to get back to stage. Oh, mm -hmm. and the big jump call out up smash from Pinscher guy to take the first stock. Right, excellent down tilt with the oppression here. Oh my god. Did you see that entire sequence? That was that flashed so quickly and Emilio Johnny was at 70. <laughs> Big grab. Watch Big the DI. Yeah, watch oh. the DI. Yeah, watch the DI. Watch the DI. 
It, the only reason why you would lose is if you died like a gorilla, which you just so happen to be fighting one. A bit very to up smash punish. But again, immediately Johnny getting hit as soon as the Pinscher guy comes off the angel platform. He's got to clean that up. He wants to try and take this game number two. <laughs> Look at that like the, the heavy megawatt arm parry and not enough time for Johnny to punish. Mm. That's Smash Ultimate in a nutshell. Big megawatt coming through, catching Johnny, trying to recover high. And now he's on his last stock in this blisteringly fast paced game number two. Watch the jump. Oh, see, that that was just because John White could have called out that jump. Granted, the M light going from down B, but there are some situations where a lot of players uh -oh. have just panic jumped. This is rough here. You're off the stage. You're getting hit by the arms. The distance is definitely going here. Oh, and the jump call it perfectly timed. You're trying to side B his way through it. Yeah, and that's good, too, because you're looking to get around here. Watch the mash. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Oh, and, good, and he passed the tech test. Oh, the but not that. Oh, he didn't realize how far away he was from the Barry Min Min. Yeah. Oh, so Johnny's going to be kicking himself if he loses this match after that window. Whenever the back air is here, but Pincher guy able to sneak back on stage. Oh, smash? Big no, that's a, that's a... Oh, no, back. why would you back throw? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm okay. mixed up. Yeah. mixed up? No, there is no world in which the DI mix up for forward throw was great. I am sorry. Good up B. Just, just, just take the W. Just take the W, picture guy. Jesus. That that felt like a lot of spaghetti in a uh, really like high fast paced matchup between these two. I'm yeah. not surprised. I mean, we we again yeah, we saw Johnny drop. A berry kill confirmed because he didn't realize or he wasn't able to space the not really space the up smash. We get an incorrectly input up smash as the punish there. So uh, still well played paint shirt guy for bringing it back here in game number two. And, you know, we'll see what stage we're going to get next. Chat um, is asking if I'm under the influence, chat. I will tell you right now. <laughs> I am not under the influence of anything. I will tell you right now, the only thing I am guilty is, uh, I'm going to do all the shilling I can, is I am guilty for this. I am I am literally under the influence of Mountain Dew right now. <laughs> so if you guys are looking for a good energy drink, uh, check out that one. It's really good. That, that is all for that one. I believe the score is 1-1, one, one, right? Yep. Okay, just want, want to make sure with everybody here in the chat here. Oof, and again, Pincher Guy is starting to catch on to Johnny's down B usage, making sure that he's not going to extend it beyond the two hits. So big up smash there. Whip punish here, and here mm -hmm. comes Min Min punish sequence. Just arm after arm after arm. Big dragon arm. Right ledge, looking for the kill here with the uh, Megawatt. And because Johnny was thinking about it, he wasn't able to get the up B to recover the ledge in time. Yeah. He that first dock. I mean, the right chat's now. been talking about it too. Like, this is a really rough matchup for DK, not only on paper, but just as the character designs as they go. Oh, so no. like you can feel uh, the wrath of like how Ram Ram is just so good at stopping John Y from coming back on the stage. Like I said, man, we've seen a lot of players, but we've seen, why am I forgetting oh. his name? The other DK main, I'm so bad. Everyone's gonna hate me for this. Um, oh, there's a couple, there's like Nalga who's pretty good and um, uh, Chunky Kong. Chunky Kong, right? Like there's a oh. lot of matchups that DK would lose, but like it all comes down to how you play the matchup here. And for John Y, like he's definitely feeling the wrath of Pink Shirt Guy. Like Pink Shirt Guy knows, like, all right, cool, this is how I have to make sure I play the matchup. Because by, oh, like man. we talked about it earlier too, like you can have a, per if you have a perfect character by flaw, the only flaw that will be is in the player's hands. So it's right. possible that like at one point or another, John um, Pink Shirt Guy could not play the matchup correctly, and that will give John Y the W. But we'll see, man, because Pink Shirt Guy, he ain't giving any room for errors yet. Nice double up there, there by Johnny. It's the Nair to catch Pink Shirt Guy's whiff. But he's trying not to overextend that ledge. Oh, I don't know. I think it was just an errant call out. There might be some late turning nerves here affecting Johnny. But then the Nair. Oh, and the. He thought he had the right call with the uppie there, but instead Pinscher got to land hard with the down air, and right now just pushing him around. Oh, he whiffed the Megawatt to up! Oh my god, man! <laughs> See that? That whiff hurts. That whiff hurts, but... <laughs> All right, Johnny, my, this, he might still have a chance to bring this back and, and take game three, but Pinscher guy is trying to make sure he doesn't even get the chance to land. He's trying to deny him a chance to play the game. Dash attack, up air! 
Oh man, it's tense, folks. Got him to pop out of the shield with the down B there. Oh man, I'm trying to go for the shield break. Not quite gonna get him. Up tilt though, pink shirt guy. He has to try not to lose composure in order to secure this game number three, mm. and he does with a big megawatt arm from legs that Johnny just was not able to respond to in time. Yeah, and in the middle of the lock-off, trying to secure some space between Min Min and the stage. Sorry, the ledge. Like, you could tell how, like, that mm. was pretty much the DK's demise. Like, the starting animation as a whole. Pretty much. It's crazy, man. The fact that, like, Megawatt killed from that far off the stage. But that just goes it, to show the power of Megawatt arm as a whole. It, it is a, a big feast. A big feast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to go right back to Kalos for game number four. And this is Johnny's tournament game. Yeah. Also, yes, chat, water is going to drink water. Water is, yes. honestly, like, everything is good in moderation. I like to drink an energy drink every now and then. But the most important thing is I always make sure I have water. I can never give up soda, but I'm always making sure I'm drinking a lot of water. Stay hydrated out there, ladies and gentlemen. Some early feeling out process between these two no one's really gotten to a really crazy punish sequence but just as, soon as i said that joni has a chance to edge guard pincher guy and just barely whiffs the connecting blow there edge guarding minimum sounds like a pipe dream for dk but uh, i'm sorry oh, I, I i i spoke every i'm oh, so sorry no. i am so sorry oh. <laughs> i should have guy pincher guy got an inch and took it a mile with that edge guard there Oh, the weak hit there of the side B, so Pincher Guy wasn't buried by Joni. But right now, Joni is able to air dodge and then up tilt, put Pincher Guy in the air. Whoa, that was a really good call out with up B. Don't panic. Yeah, I was going to say, the only reason why Pincher Guy would have died oh. is if he panicked. That was a really good usage of the nair there by Pincher Guy to make sure Joni couldn't land immediately off those callus plaques. Oh, that's a Oh, stop. the heavy armor! And he caught him popping out there with big clapping up smash. Bro, I kind of want to say we should see a little bit more of that armor. Like, now that we know that there are some things that John White can do with it to punish Min Min and bypass her arms, it's using that armor to get through. And hopefully John White will find some kind of recipe for that to be played out. But unfortunately, oh, when no. it comes to trying to even touch the ledge, man, dude, it's, it's hard. Look at this, Pincher Guy finding the options, finding the hitboxes to make it so Johnny cannot extend any kind of advantage state. That dash touch leading to nothing, but here we go. Let's see if Johnny can turn things around, catch his uh, PSG whiffing the down tilt. Oh, that landing there didn't connect though. That was interesting. Big grab. Ding dong off the top. All right. Last stop situation. Johnny just cannot get bulldozed like he has in some of these stocks so far in the uh, first three games. See, he has to bring it back. He has to find a way to stop all of this Min Min armored madness. Oh my god, almost a big call to Ram Ram looking for the home run swing. It is definitely. Oh no. <laughs> Double back air. Nice. Oh. Calls out the punish there on the landing. Oh no, down Whoa, smash. The down smash uh, Yo, what a play. No, okay, good oh, day, no, good day, good day, good day. She's living. John Y though. Mmm, oh, the air dodge, the it. air dodge. The oh, PSG no. just, a, just a few steps ahead of Johnny there in game number four and able to clinch it and move on to take on Jake in loser semis.